the hair is done. So there's the shoe, and so all I do is, so we made it to the christening destination. Saturday morning I'm still feeling a little bit sleepy but I put on a bit of makeup I'm heading on over to the hairdressers this thing needs to get done finally it's been so long um, I, I'm actually excited to get it done but I thought I'd jump on and say hello before I get there so you guys can see the before and then we'll see the after my sister's meeting me over there we usually do our appointment at the same time kind of one of us goes about half an hour earlier than the other one then we sort of finish Pretty much at the same time so then it's easy for the hairdresser as well uh, so i'm gonna head on over so i'm not late and i will catch up with you guys later so i'm back from the hairdresser the hair is done i love it she did it like super blonde there is some other like brownie kind of foils to do it i don't know if you can tell too much i just said do it the same as last time and but i love like how blonde it is it just i feel like a different person especially because the regrowth was like quite heavy and now i actually i honestly feel you know when you get your hair done you're like oh i'm a new person i actually even got a cut i don't know if you guys could tell it's it's quite shorter like it was a little bit longer but it's healthier i'm just looking at the viewfinder it's so much healthier it's a bit of a blunt cut i said to cut some layers through because when i do my velcro rollers like i just want some bounce and some volume in my hair i feel like i don't really need before i was looking for more length but what i realized was the longer my hair was getting the ends were thinning out so my hair was just not looking full anyway so it wasn't looking like long and voluminous so i'd rather just keep it like this length and then if i want more more volume or length i'll just put like the clipping extensions that i have but otherwise this way it's looking nice and fresh and healthy which i love from there then we also went to the supermarket because my nephew had to go to the I was going to call it the RTA because that is what I know it as, but the place where you get your licenses, where is RMS. Uh, so we quickly had to go straight from the hairdresser to there because we didn't have time to come home. So I haven't like updated you guys on the day, but we did do our supermarket shopping because that's our usual Saturday routine. <laughs> And now I've come home, I'm going to unload. I also want to do a bit of self-tanner on my legs because I'm not going to wear stockings. So we'll do that together. And I want to do that now, but I'm starving. It's like one o'clock and I haven't eaten yet because I just thought I'll go hairdresser, I'll come home and eat. I didn't expect it to be like, go, 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 go. So I'm starving. So I'm going to make something tea. And then I've got my jeans still on. I didn't even show you guys. My outfit was nothing special, just this blue top with my jeans. But I'm just going to take them off and then we'll do... I don't think, I don't think the rest of me really needs it because... I feel like I'm naturally a little bit more tanned up the top. I just want my legs there super duper white. I'll see how I'm feeling because I'm wearing long sleeves. So only really this bit's going to be seen. And uh, I think I might just do the legs. I don't know. But first, let me show you what I got so I can unpack it. And then I'm going to make some breakfast, lunch, whatever it is. I'm starving. I'm thinking of frying up the peppers that I got yesterday. In case if you didn't watch the last vlog. Those peppers, chili peppers, but they're not hot. So I want to have them with eggs because I bought... I got like a bread, like a French stick. Is it called a French stick? Bread crusty baguette, but these are delicious. I got some lollies. I love the sour ones and these ones, my favorite. I got some rice, it comes in handy. It was one of those on sale. I got some bacon. My favorite is the shortcut. I think I've shared that with you guys. I don't like the strips. I don't like crispy bacon. I like it like hammy bacon. The zucchini spirals were on sale, so I grabbed one. I usually just freeze it up, and then when I need it, like I defrost it, and then it's good to go. Some gold kiwi fruit, my fave. I'm hoping to film a video that involves a bit of recipes next week, so hopefully that works. So I've got some penne for that, and I've got some pineapple as well. It's not in the same recipe, but those are things I needed. I also got brown sugar, and I got some egg mayonnaise. And lastly, I got a yogurt. I haven't tried this one, the Jalna, but I know my mum buys it. So I, th and I'm pretty sure maybe I've tried it from her, but she buys it. So it must be good. I usually buy the, like the Greek style one, but I thought I would try this one. It was on sale. And I also popped into Chemist Warehouse and I got these 
the suede heel grip so they're for my shoes that i'm going to be wearing to the christening tomorrow because they were a little bit big i figured if i put these on the back my foot should stay in and hold up they were like three dollars from Kim's warehouse so that's a better price than somewhere where i've seen them uh, so i'm assuming this is gonna work and then my foot's gonna stay in the shoe because i really want to wear those shoes so i cut up the peppers and i fry them up i put a little bit of oil now we've got to fry these until they're nice and soft been two eggs, so I put two eggs in here and I just gotta whisk it up and put some salt and pepper. Now I put a lid on here just so then they could soften. At this point, I know it might look a bit burnt, but it's not. I'm going to add the egg. And then we just mix it through. So it's kind of like scrambled eggs, I guess. Does anybody else have parents like mine? They're right next to each other downstairs. But they're talking so loud that I can hear them from here. <laughs> Alright, so this is the meal, what it looks like. So it's just scrambled eggs and peppers. And now I'm going to have it with some bread. I've got my water. I'm starving because now it took me like half an hour to cook this. I had to write out all the cards for like the christening, birthdays. So that's all set to go. So I'm going to eat and then we'll tan, hopefully. I'm so glad it's actually a nice day outside so then I can like be summery. So I've got, a, I've got my dress on, I'm just going to do my legs. Oh, let me show you the tan. This is Very Glow Clear Self Tan. Where did I put the mint? I put the towel here so therefore I wouldn't make a mess and she was just lying on it. Luckily he heard a noise so he's gone to investigate. But I don't know about the clear because then I feel like if I can't see what I'm doing, am I going to streak it? And then the Christine I'm going to use tomorrow. Let's, you know what, let's just give it a go. Doesn't work out, doesn't work out, that's life. Okay, so it comes out as white, normally it comes out as dark. Let me do this leg first because that one I shaved first. <laughs> and then just round motions. Yeah, it is clear. Should I have done it with my left hand? Probably, yeah, it would have been a bit easier. <laughs> no, I'll do this leg. Try again, this leg. This way, so if I can reach. <laughs> All right. So it's coming on clear. It's like mousse. And I'm not going to do all the way because my dress is long. I just wanted to try out this tan here. Chibi, what you doing? What are you making all that noise for, Mama? So I just finished blow drying my mum's hair. She wanted me to do it today because they're going out tonight and then she figured she probably shouldn't have, like it should be ready for tomorrow, it's just a little bit of tweaks here and there, which is good because then it saves me time tomorrow because I actually had already factored her into my getting ready time. Because like we have to be at church by 11, which means we have to leave home about quarter two. Luckily it's not too far from our house. So and I always work back and think, okay, what time do I need to get up? What time do I need to have a shower? <laughs> How long is it going to take me to do hair, makeup and stuff? And then I, like, I factor in exactly my time. So then I can get more sleep. I feel like we all do that. And then sometimes my mom will be like, but you need to blow dry my hair. And then I'm like, oh, there's half an hour, half an hour. <laughs> and if I know from the night before, I'll just get up half an hour earlier. So which is good. So now I'm done with that. I actually haven't factored in when I'm going to get up because I'm thinking I might do a little bit of like a get ready with me, maybe a separate video. We'll see. I'll either tack it onto this vlog or I might do a separate one because I bought a new concealer that I want to try out. So maybe we'll do that and then I can share like how I get ready and get all, you know, glammed up. I, I know I've done that before, but it's like my favorite thing to do. I love glamming up. So I figured I'll share. And also as like a more mature person, as they say, I like to like share my tips and things of like how we can still look good, you know. Yeah, I'm not in my 20s, but like I feel like at any age you can still look good for your age. So, so that's like something that I want to share with you guys, not just body because yes, I feel like you can still look good plus size. And also, you know, like generally like everything. I think that was the reason I started my channel was mainly to help like plus size, which I love to do. But now I want to do the whole thing because I feel like... We should all give each other tips and tricks and stuff to like, you know, ladies helping ladies.
So just before I did my mum's hair, I started on the shoes and I forgot to share with you guys. So the little packer little thingy, it looks like that. So that's the sticky tape side and then that side's got like a leather interior. So I stuck one in here and I tried on the shoe. It's still a little bit big but I feel like at least that should help the grip go. So I thought we'll do the other one together. So there's the shoe and so all I do is... I feel like I do have shoe inserts as well if I needed that. So I may also give that a try. I'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow because I don't really want... I don't want the shoes to be then tight on me. Because I don't feel like they're too, too big. So I've peeled off the sticker. And now literally with like the dip side down, I just put it in here. And I literally just pop it in. And I don't do it right up to the top because sometimes, for example... I leave a touch of a space because sometimes if your foot is moving up on it, it could slightly move it up. And then if you leave it too high up, I feel like it will go over. But I feel like this is going to work super well. I mean, I didn't exactly put it in the middle, but it'll do. That's what happens when you talk at the same time. <laughs> Let me pop them on and I will show you. I couldn't get the height of the camera to see all of me. But they're the shoes. And by what I mean is see how my foot like comes out. So... I was hoping that that would help it like stay in like because it does that but it is a lot better with that in there and then hopefully I won't get blisters but because I want to dance and when you dance sorry it's so noisy I'm clonking and talking when you dance you know I don't want your foot to come out but otherwise I think they're pretty so it's later on in the day my uncle and auntie made it here I was just downstairs having a chit chat with them we are now going to go over to my sister's place I was just doing a little bit of painting I kind of started it let me show I don't really have much progress but I'll show you currently I'm still fresh here but I feel like it's coming along just great Chippy Chippy do you want to go are you gonna stop licking your paw there are you ready to go Yes, you little munchkin. Right. Let's go, good boy. How's mommy's good boy? You want to go? Let's go. <laughs> These cups are really cute. I feel like they're in there. Oh, I like this thing. Oops. We have come shopping to Big W. We're just looking at some stuff. So here's some homewares if you're interested. It's Sonia and I late night shopping. We needed to get a few stuff. These cups are cute too, but they're a bit more rounded. Oh, they're very light. That's what they look like. Oh, they're on sale. If anyone's interested. <laughs> well, this basket's nice and big. Oh, it's $55. Not in my price range. I think I showed you guys some of the homewares last time. There's no S for Stansy here. But what are we coming for? Oh, my, we need haberdashery. Yes, so I'm going to shorten my dress a little bit for the christening tomorrow so we're gonna do some some i'll show you when we find it if anyone's interested there's a section in here i can't see any hemming tape so we found that we got this iron on hemming because we have i just needed like 10 more centimeters my sister already had one and uh, oh look at this cute stuff that they have here what are these those things that you like stick on they're cute. Similar to like the thing I'm painting. Oh, inspire. All the knitting stuff. I actually want to learn to do a bit of knitting because I like crochet things. I should have I should get ready for next winter. I can knit us some jumpers. <laughs> right, I'm in the dog section to see if there's any dog shampoo for chip. Here we go. Oh, there's nothing on sale though. Let's see. I don't know, maybe I should just go to Pet Barn. I don't know what to get. I think I'm going with this one because it smells so good. If anyone is interested in any workout stuff, some mats we have. What are you looking at? I want these, but they're fucking women. Can't they make men's ones? Oh, <laughs> you can for yourself. Oh, for the boys. Nathan needs them. The blue? Mm. Doesn't look that yeah, but I prefer this one. Oh, this, no, this I thing prefer here. this size. Oh, oh, that's a mat. Because he only needs just to put on the thing. He doesn't need a whole towel. This kind of looks like a ladies section. You Do they have a men's the section? section? Lots of like containers. containers. <laughs> no, but there's big ones here. Kitchen stuff. 
This is nice coming in the evening because it's not busy like when I come in the day. Longer. Oh, Sonia's looking for containers. I want containers. Let me see if I can. It's not on market for Well, we got heaps in this brand. Containers galore. Kitchenware. See, when there's no people in the store, I can take you guys around everywhere. <laughs> now I know what they do. When these ones all film and I watch other people film and it's empty, then you can actually talk and vlog at the same time. My chopping board. Oh yeah, I think I've seen these and then you like flip them and you pause in. That's that one. Oh, this one. This one's yeah, that one's just a little different. Plain. That garlic presser looks good. I do have one of those too. Kitchen utensils. There's lots of containers everywhere. If anyone is into Star Wars stuff. Not me, but other people definitely are. More kitchenware, baking stuff. Cupcake stuff. So we're back home to my sister's, finished with our shopping. Um, I got the shampoo, I showed you guys that. Angus is watching the rugby. Angus, Chip is napping, they went for a walk today. My sister's gonna help me shorten the dress. So then, cause I just thought it was too, too long, so I'm gonna shorten it. We're gonna use these things and hopefully it's gonna work out. We are now at Kmart because we decided to do more late night shopping. Barbecue stuff, anyone? I guess our oh, uh, Father's Day should be coming in about a month. If anyone's interested, oh, these marks are cute. Huh. Fishing rods, interesting. They've got the fitness section over here in Kmart. We grabbed a couple of those towels. I like this tree. That's nice. How cute! And this mirror on the shelf. This Kmart store that we have come to, it's pretty busy for a Saturday night. <laughs> Oh, Look at that bed so. for Chibi. These little rocks. Oh, they got some really cute serving trays. I guess that's for decorations. But check out this Renee floor lamp. That's pretty cool. Coffee always tastes weird when you brush your teeth. <laughs> Good morning guys. I just made some breakfast. I've just got some egg toast. Now normally I forget to eat breakfast because I'm too busy doing stuff. But I looked at the time and I have some time. So I thought let me have breakfast. Today as you guys can see I've got my hair in my rollers. It is my cousin's child's christening today. So we're getting ready for that. So I've got my hair in the Velcros. And I figured we've got the church and we're going to be busy. And I'm not going to eat for a while. So I thought you know what let me have breakfast. So that way like I'm going to be satisfied at least for the beginning half of the day. Hey, so I just made something really quick. I'm gonna have that do my makeup. Uh, I'm gonna do a different outfit for church and a different outfit for tonight because everyone else seems to be doing that. So I'm finally gonna wear my black dress that I've been like thinking where should I wear. And I figured, you know what, I'll just wear it to church and back. Like it's like a you know one hour thing and I'm done. I kind of feel like it looks dressy, but then the material's not. But anyways, I'll show you guys probably at some point of the day. So let me have breakfast and I'll probably chat to you guys. It'll probably end up being once I'm ready because, as I said, I'm going to do the getting ready with me on a different video. So here is the final look. So this is the church look. I feel like this dress is so dressy. But when I did a TikTok, a lot of people were like, no, no, just wear it to dinner. So I figured if I wear it to dinner, I can wear it to church. I love the little split here and I'm going with the pink shoes. But I'm not doing the pink bag. I'm going to do the black one because... I just don't want it to stand out too much because I feel like the dress is just so like jazzy. I hope it's not. <laughs> I loved how the hair turned out though, but this is the look. I love the little split. And then I will get changed later, so I'll share with you guys tonight's outfit, which you guys already know if you watch the vlogs, I've shared a million times. My uncle from Melbourne. He's on his way, he was taking some selfies. This is his dapper outfit. Is my auntie from Melbourne outfit. <laughs> Where's my mum? I can hear you. We're all ready. We just don't want to be too early. There's my mum as well. My dad's taking the car out. But I'm going to wait for my sister and Angus. They're going to pick me up so we're not too much in squeezed in. But look, he's here. Hi, Mati. Kidani, he's brought the shoe. Nagos, 
outside, please. Not outside. So we made it to the christening destination. I did not have time to vlog today. We filmed a video, like a taste testing, and now we're here. We're super early, so I'm going to take a few pics and uh, I'll show, show you guys my outfit. Sonia and her outfit. So it's not, it's, we're somewhere Campbelltown way. There's Angus, Christian. No, I'm going to wear something else, but it didn't fit. It's too small. And Surprise, this is my outfit. outfit. This new one. <laughs> my pink bag and my pink shoes. This is the venue. We're out in, I can smell the horse poop, but I'll record a little bit closer. So this is where we took photo. Look how pretty it is. Hello. I'm recording. Hello, is my cousin Di. <laughs> Look, Di's nice, green dress. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, yeah Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Make a horse for the parents So I feel like I did such a bad job vlogging on the Sunday. Now normally I do try and vlog as much as I can and you guys know when it comes to days like this where there is so much happening it is hard to pull out your camera. However I did take it with me to the church and I was only going to film like little bits and bobs here but my cousin was actually filming and the little memory card that he had didn't fit into his camera so luckily I had a brand new battery in mine so I gave him my camera so he actually used my camera to film so I, I, I didn't actually get to use that at all there so therefore I didn't really vlog anybody 
anybody's outfits or anything and we did have one set of outfits for church and then most of us did change for the evening i don't know i feel like it was i heard someone say it so then all of us were like you know what fine we'll do like a change of outfit and then we went back to my sister's we filmed like a trying food a taste testing video so that took a bit of time i also had to charge my battery because i wasn't prepared <laughs> for someone using my camera earlier uh, and therefore and then we all pretty much got ready and my dad wanted to come along with us because he was uh, quite far from where we live it was like probably like 50 minute drive from where we are and he wasn't sure where he was going and I was going with my sister and Angus and Christian Nathan was actually unfortunately sick he's got tonsillitis I think he's feeling a lot better now but he was really like in bed not moving so he ended up staying home normally we get ready and then I vlog everyone's outfit but my dad decided to rock up a little bit early by a little minute I mean five minutes but those five minutes we could have actually you know been recording so Christian was still in the shower we were like hustling and bustling trying to like get out the door and so I did not have any time to film beforehand i even was trying to get my vlog up for the sunday like it was i didn't even finish editing it so i had finished editing then i was trying to upload it so literally i had my laptop in my bag i was i had my phone on the like you know the what is like the bluetooth to use my internet from my phone to my computer and i had the computer open the whole way to the venue trying to upload my vlog and then for some reason he didn't want like he uploaded but he the checks didn't want to complete so whilst i was at the christening i had to keep checking my phone to see if the vlog had uploaded and he eventually finally did so he went live a little bit late but it's, i still made it on the sunday but yeah i only got a few clips here and there and then in the end we just we danced the night away and normally i always ask someone like angus or someone can you just like record us while we're dancing but he was dancing himself so i just left out that i did a few clips here and there so i hope you guys enjoyed it was you know you guys know what it's like when you're at a family thing you're not really there to vlog you're there to enjoy yourself and have a good time so we had an awesome time the little like gift boxes that they were giving away i already put the magnet on my fridge uh it was really cute that they had this like little cross i didn't realize it was this little cross but on the cross it actually has seeds in it so you plant this it's a special paper uh, has seeds embedded in it to grow flowers daisies zinnia poppies and more and you went to put it in soil and i thought what an amazing idea so i've left that here until i get some soil i did tell my mom she was a little bit confused as she's not used to seeing things like that but nevertheless i haven't tried the chocolates yet but i also took home the frog i've got the frog here i haven't detached the chocolates from it yet which i should figure out how to do that and i know it's probably meant to be like an outside thing but i thought it was cute so i'm gonna keep it here for now and then i'll probably do something else with it and here's a little bit of chip because we didn't really see him that day he had to stay home so i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye